Are you suffering from hip groin pain with weakness? Radiating on your inner thigh. Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. Join me and my cousin Marisol who has hip groin pain due to biking. And if you're having pain there, it's possible not just because of too much activities but because of your weakness. And we're going to isolate the muscles to strengthen and help support utilizing Pilates and physical therapy. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, let's start in sitting position. We're going to start engaging your glutes and your core muscles first. Place your hands behind you. And we're going to do a gentle hip thrust to activate your glutes and your core. Slowly press on the mat, lift your buttocks off the mat, squeeze your core in as you breathe in, and then breathe out as you go down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Let's warm up those muscles as we slowly progress. Two more, inhale, slowly lift and slowly look up. Feel that stretch on your shoulders as well. And if you're having wrist pain, you can do this on your elbows instead. Last one, inhale and exhale. Now hold this position in a hip thrust position and we'll do a gentle pulse. Small range, few inches, squeezing your glutes as you go up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one, and roll down. Now slowly grab your hands behind your thighs, chin tuck, and slowly roll down all the way to the mat. Lift your knees up in tabletop position. Then we're gonna slowly open that hip groin area. Place your hands beside you, and gentle open your knees out to a butterfly stretch. Inhale, and then exhale back center. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeezing your core in as you open your knees apart. Five more. Feel that lovely stretch. At the same time, strengthening your hip groin muscles. Two more. Last one. Hold that stretch and gently extend your knees to a V stretch. Hold that position and then bend your knee again and then back center. Knees together, feet together as you exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, extend your knees. Feel that stretch, right, Marisol? Yeah. Inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, back center. Four more. Open, extend, bend, center. Three more. Inhale, exhale, bend, center. Two more. If you can't fully extend your knee, that's fine. Last one. Hold that stretch. Hold that stretch and then back center, V stretch. So if you need some support, you can place your hands behind your thighs if you're really weak on your core. Can you feel that, Marisol? Mm -hmm. Locking your knees as much as you can. Straight up? Yes. Okay. And if you want, help with your hands as you open. And then toes pointing away and then dorsiflex. Pull your toes towards you, stretch your calves to stretch those muscles and then go back to the center. Can you feel the stretch? Yeah. And then toes pointing to the heavens, open, dorsiflex, and then back center. And then if you want to challenge your core, you can let go of your hands, place it beside you if you like. But if you're a beginner like Marisol, you can do that. Hold yeah. on tight, guys. And now, mine I'm letting go so I can challenge my core. Okay, my friends. Tippy toes, toes pointing to the heavens, open, dorsiflex, toes pointing you, exhale back center. Tippy toes, open, dorsiflex, center. Eight more, breathe in, breathe out. You'll be sore tomorrow, but in a good way. Let's strengthen and build those support so you don't get hip groin pain anymore. Six. Breathe in, breathe out. Five more, open, dorsiflex, center, toes. Four. Three, two, last one, my friends, and one. And then grab behind your thighs again, keep pulling it, toes pointing to the heavens, and then slowly look, doors flex in this position. Let go of your hands now, place it on your side, and strengthen your core by doing a gentle circles. Small circles like a size of a small dish. Inhale and exhale. Five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse circles. 
10. Feel the burn. Can you feel it on your core? Yeah. Nine. Slow and steady. Try not to rock your hips. Slow and steady. The slower, the better. It's hard. It's hard, right? And <laughs> yeah. If your knees are buckled, that's fine. Two and one. And slowly bend your knees. Well done, my friends. Woo! That was beautiful, right? Yeah. Now we're going to do some bridging. Place your hands beside you. Slowly lift your buttocks off the mat. Try not to overarch your spine. Squeeze your core in as you breathe in. And then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time and breathe out. Again, lift, bridge, exhale down. Last one. Bridge, hold that position. And then we're going to do gentle pulses. 10, small range, 9, 8, 7, squeeze as hard as you can, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold that position. And then I want you to lift your heels off the mat, tippy toes, and hold that bridge. Don't let go of the bridge. And down, tippy toes, back and forth, 10 times, 10, 9, 8, feel the burn, right? Yeah. 6, this is good for you for bikers. Just who are weak on their glutes and you need to strengthen those muscles too. Three, to support your hip groin. Two, and one, hold that bridge, hold that tippy toes. And now from this position, we're gonna do butterfly. Open your knees apart, hold that position. 10, nine, eight, seven. Open your knees apart, hold that bridge, hold that heel to target those muscles. Four, three, Two and one, and slowly lower your heels down, and then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Whew, that was beautiful. Now let's lie on your side, Marisol. So far, so good. That's yes. lovely, right? Rest your head on your shoulder. We're gonna do some lovely heel slides. Slide your heel, and then extend your knee as much as you can. <laughs> and most patients have keep growing tightness, right? Can you feel that? Uh -huh. And then dorsiflex, toes pointing you, and then exhale down. Inhale, slide, exhale, extend, dorsiflex, and down. Five more, feel the burn. Lengthen, right? Lengthen, slow and steady. Can you feel that stretch? Yes. And the weakness on your hip, glutes medius, right? You feel it here? Uh -huh. Good, two more. Beautiful work, Marisol. Last one. And now we are reversing by going up first with your knee straight with, in a dorsiflex position and then tippy toes. As you tippy toes, bend your knee and then slide down. Again, dorsiflex before you lift, tippy toes as you bend and slide down. We're doing reverse dorsiflex as you lift to stretch, tippy toes and exhale down. Two more. Tippy toes before you bend your knee and slide down. Lift, tippy toes, and down. Dorsiflex, and you lift, tippy toes, and bend your knee and slide down. Last one. And hold that position. In a dorsiflex position, we're gonna do small circle, like a size of a small dish. Try not to rock your hips. Keep your core engaged. Try not to lean backward. You can place one hand in front of you for support. Inhale and exhale. See how slow I'm doing this? The slower, the better. Five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse circle. Feel the burn on your outside of your hips, Marisol? Mm -hmm. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now bend your knees like sleeping like a baby, and then extend your leg in front of you. And then we'll pulse up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Feel the stretch. Mm -hmm. 4, 3, 2, and 1. And bend. And now place your right foot in front of you with your knee bent and then extend the back leg. So the lower leg is straight, toes pointing away, and lift. And down. Lift. And down. Strengthen those inner thigh muscles. 7 more. Five more. Squeeze your core in. Three more. 
two, last one, and one. Ooh, that was beautiful, right Marisol? You like it so far? Yeah. With your knees straight this time, both of your knees, and lift both legs this time. And down. Nine more. Feel the burn. You can hold on to the mat for support. So you can lift your feet higher. Both of them at the same time on your side. Feel the burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Let's switch to the other side. So far, so good? Yeah, you're working me out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's strengthen those muscles. I love it. Okay, my friends, let's lie down on your side. Let's slide your heel first. Bend your knee as you inhale. Exhale, extend. Dorsiflex as you go down your ankle. Tippy toes as you slide. Exhale, extend. Dorsiflex and down. So far, so good, Marisol. Is it easier on this side? Sometimes one side is easier, right? Yeah, the sand is, the sand is like making it hard for me. Oh, okay. So it's, it's like an uneven surface. Oh, yeah. So if you're in an uneven surface, try your best to get, if you're a beginner, go to an even surface. We're in the beach, so it's a little bit more challenging to engage your core muscles. Keeping your spine in neutral position. Last set, slide, extend, dorsiflex before you go down. Well done. Now let's do reverse. As you dorsiflex first and lift, and then tippy toes away as you bend your knee and then slide down. Dorsiflex, lift, inhale. Dor in plantar flex as you go down. Five more. Don't forget your breathing. Four. Dorsiflex, lift, plantar flex, bend and slide down. Dorsiflex your ankle. Plantar flex your ankle, bend your knee, and slide down. Three more. Two more. Last one, my friends. Hold that position with your ankles towards to flex a small circle like the size of a small dish. Feel the burn in your glutes, right? Ten, nine, small circle like the size of a small dish. The slower, the better. Five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse. Feel the burn. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! That was beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Bend your knees like sleeping like a baby. So far, so good, my friend. Mm -hmm. There's so my cousin. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna extend your top knee only. Dorsiflex to stretch all the way up here, right Marisol? Can you feel that stretch? And if you can't keep it up to 90, if you're a little bit down, that's fine. And we're gonna pause. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And now place this top foot in front of you. Extend the back leg and lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and extend the top knee and lift both legs. You can place one hand in front of you for support. Ten, nine, eight. Engage your core. Seven, six, five, four. Feel the burn. Three, two, last one, and one. And we're cooling down now. Lie on your back. Bend your knees to your chest to stretch your back and your glutes. Feels so good. How did you find the program, Marisol? It was good. It was challenging. You like the challenge? It yeah. was lovely, right? Mm -hmm. Now you can look back on this video to <laughs> maintain your keep going for your biking activities, right? Yes. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And then you can rock side to side. Feels so good on your spine, right? Mm -hmm. And then circles as well. Release the tension off your hips. You guys work hard today. It's a beautiful day here in Solana Beach. The weather is perfect. And then reverse circles. It's nice to see my cousin again after four years, right? I know. It's been so long. It's nice visiting her and I'm glad she joined me on my channel. You can check out her lovely jewelry. Description below, she makes handcrafted Filipino-inspired jewelry. If you're a Filipino or not, even Filipinos who want to enjoy some lovely 
uh, different shapes, right? And some of them are sun shape and just all earrings. Types of, uh, and you can check out her Filipino website culture. so you can see different beautiful creations from 14 karat golds, right? Um, it's stainless steel, but we have um, 14K options. So you have different options for different price points. Okay, my friends, feet together. Hug your feet closer to your chest if you can. Feel that hip groin stretch, right? Isn't this beautiful? Yeah. And then rock side to side. Butterfly stretch is one of my favorite stretches as well. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, toes, feet up. Grab your big toes with your hands and happy baby pose. Pull your knees towards the floor and rock side to side. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more deep breaths in. We're almost done. And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed my quick Pilates and physical therapy to strengthen your hip groin and glutes muscles. If you're suffering from hip groin pain after prolonged sitting position from biking, driving, or just sitting in your desk area. If you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates, yoga, physical therapy, health, and wellness, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Like and share this video. Every like you give to my channel, you are supporting me. You can follow my cousin as well on her TikTok account, Sunkiss Pinay, and she has a lot of lovely videos that's very nice and entertaining as well. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. And this is one of her beautiful necklaces <laughs> that you can check out. I put the bureau so you can see how beautiful her handwork is. She's a genius in my eyes. She's my lovely cousin. She's very talented. So much beautiful creations such as Bye Bye In, which is a Filipino writing that we used before the Spanish came, colonized the Philippines. Yeah. It looks like a wave of the ocean, like the Solana Beach. I'm so proud to be Filipina. She's Filipina, my lovely cousin. And um, we love the Philippines. And if you miss the Philippines and you want to see the beautiful country of the Philippines, you can check out also Boracay, Palawan. And also to remind you of the beautiful islands of the Philippines, check out her beautiful jewelry and by buying writings. If you always use the English writing alphabet and you want to learn more about the Filipino writing, the original before the Spanish came, as I said earlier, check out by buying or Alibata, right? Alibata? Alibata, I'm sorry. Yeah. You can it's check okay. out Alibata or by buying. So she, you can ask my cousin to write your names in Alibata or by buying. Yeah, I offer it on TikTok. So and on check my out too. Yeah. Check out TikTok. So if you have any questions regarding how to customize your jewelry, mm -hmm. always remember be safe, be well, healthy. You until my next video training. Bye.